Look who is here. You know this lady. She's the co-host and the all-round star of the Fox News channel. Oh. This is Dana Perino. It's good How to be you? here. I've missed you. We haven't sat together on a TV set for a long, long yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> there you here go. Here we are. You saw, I don't know what you, what do you drink in the morning? The, is it coffee? The McDonald's coffee that gives you this energy? What do you imply? So I'm, I'm asking because I want advice. I want to feel that, way, that good in the morning. Caffeine. Caffeine. Lots uh, of it. Okay. Yeah, it does me good. Just like straight into the vein. <laughs> but it's best if you get up at 3.30 in the morning, mm -hmm. so you're thoroughly coffeeed oh, so up this by is like 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, this is like lunchtime for me. That's right. All right. Um, I'm going to get to your book in a moment. That's fine if you don't. I understand no, there's no, lots no, of politics. No, no, no. Um, this is politics, and you're right in the political arena. I described the Clinton campaign as virtually Nixonian in their dirty tricks, the lies, the cheats, etc., etc. I came on very strong. Am I too strong on this? I think that there's probably a school of thought that agrees with you. In fact, Donald Trump agrees with you. And you're right about that um, ABC Washington Post poll. So point, uh, plus 12 for Clinton a couple weeks ago. And the national poll averaged between about 5 and 6 a week ago. Now that's probably going to get to about 2 percent maybe a lead going into uh, election day which means that anything could happen um, and that th that was true in 2000 for example there was about a two percent mm. a couple of polls showed Bush up to a couple of polls showed yep. Gore up to and then what ended up happening you have the recount in Florida Florida being the most important state and Trump campaign being super smart spending a lot of time with his surrogates there I knew Rudy Giuliani was there yesterday and uh, North Carolina doesn't look that good for them but Florida looks pretty good it's not too late I mean, a week ago, we were it's saying, not too late. Heaven, Obviously, look at how much it moved. Right. Yes. And, that, and I think Donald Trump is taking this political gift that was given to him, and he's being very disciplined. He's focusing on the emails, and then on the other thing, most important, is Obamacare. Because you have, as EMAC was saying, there's some good economic numbers for the Obama team that they're probably sitting there thinking, why won't anybody talk about our GDP growth or right. these manufacturing numbers? These are good numbers. It doesn't matter well, when Obamacare is affecting every single person. At the moment, uh, Trump is a couple of points down in Pennsylvania. But he goes to Pennsylvania today, and this is November the 1st. Mm -hmm. This is the day when new enrollees or en re enrollees get into Obamacare, and the premiums are going up more than 50% in the state of Pennsylvania. Right. It's a wide open opportunity for Trump to blast Obamacare and catch up a couple of points. Yes, and there's no early voting in Pennsylvania, so all we have are the polls. And so we don't really know. Like, you know that in Florida, Trump is doing pretty well in early voting. You know that in North Carolina, Hillary Clinton is doing very well in early voting. In Pennsylvania, you don't know. Now, Republicans have not won Pennsylvania since George H.W. Bush won it in 1988. Right. It's like yeah. that one that got away. Yeah. If you're sitting in, the, in our election headquarters on election night and you see Pennsylvania come along for Trump, that Oh, well, then he's got a chance to win the election, for sure. Not? But if, he, if it's the other way, you might have a sinking feeling if you're a Trump fan. That's right. So Pennsylvania and Florida, certainly the ones to watch. I have to ask you about your dog and the book, because <laughs> they're intertwined here. They are. Uh, the, the book is, let me tell you about Jasper, how my best friend became America's dog. I love how you say Jasper. Because that's how Peter English. says it. Yes, <laughs> yes, Jasper. Yeah, it's, it's been a fun distraction during this election year. Um, it's a book that about my love for dogs. I know you share it. I do. Right? And that's actually one of the things I wanted to make sure that I did in this election year is to say, remember, we all have some common ground. If you find that you can't <laughs> actually talk to anybody about politics, talk about the dogs. family pet. Dogs usually work. I do yeah. no politics at the dog park. And this also has some modern art in the back from Five Fan Photoshop, who you might know from the Twitter. Yes, uh, Twitter. Yes, <laughs> yes. <that's> right, yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dana, it was great to have you back on the Thank show. You. Not back on the show. This is the first time on the show. On this? Uh, yes, it is. If you're not it's careful, my debut. You might have to get up early and come see us more often, you know? <laughs> yeah, we used to do things late at night together. Yes, we... On television. I beg your pardon. <laughs> <laughs> Dana. See, I'm awake. You are. I had coffee. caffeine. Moving swiftly I had English along. breakfast tea. As I said, moving swiftly along. Can I do that? <laughs> Thanks, Dana. <laughs> All right, back to your...